everyone and welcome to my channel. In my last video I shared with you my favorite shades in my eyeshadow palettes and today's video is going to be the opposite so I'm sharing with you my least favorite shades in my eyeshadow palettes. The original creators of these videos were Georgia Harris and Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Let's just get into it. I'm going to go through these palettes that I have in the same order than last time in my last video, so in alphabetical order. And you know what? I just realized that my shared choice today is not the best for filming this video because I need my arm free for swatches. So I'll just try to roll my sleeve up. So the first palette is my Pantat palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. And if you have been watching my Pantat palette update, my least favorite shade should not come as a surprise for you. My least favorite shade in this palette is hands down Buen Fresco. I just think this one is way too cool toned compared to the rest of the palette because the overall wipe of this palette is really warm and rich and then there's like a random cool toned dusty pink shade and I will say that overall I'm not a biggest fan of this kind of shade on myself and don't get me wrong I do like cooler toned eyeshadows but my preferred cool toned looks are like taupey looks, cool toned brown looks, maybe silver looks but cool toned kind of like dusty pink looks. I just don't think they are the most flattering on myself and I don't really like them. There's a huge pan in Point Fresco because I have been really focused on it, but honestly I'm starting to be pretty sick of this color. It is quite hard to swatch and get enough product on my finger because the product is only on the sides of the pan. Okay, so there is Buen Fresco swatched. Next are my BH Cosmetics palettes and the first palette is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. And overall I do like this palette a lot and I do like all of these shades. So it's quite difficult for me to pick my least favorite shade. I think the quality is great. Maybe there's a couple of shades that are like a little bit lackluster like these lighter shimmers, that if you want them to be really visible, you need to build them up. However, I think I will say that my least favorite shade in this palette is this kind of like pink over here. It is really interesting color. I do really much like how it looks when I swatch it. It's like a duochrome shade, like it's a pink base with some gold reflect to it. However, really bright pink eyeshadows like this I feel they make me look a little bit sick and I just don't think they are the most flattering on myself. So even though that eyeshadow in this palette, it is beautiful. It is still one of the last eyeshadows in this palette that I would reach for. So here is the shadow swatch. As you can see, it is a beautiful metallic finish. And I do really much love how it looks, but as you can see, it is like a hot pink shade. And even though I'm wearing like some pink on my eyes today, this kind of shade I would really only wear on my lid or on my lower lash line. And I do think that this, these kind of like hot pink shades, they make me just look like I'm not okay. Next is the BH Cosmetics Foil Eye School to Go, six color eyeshadow palette. And it's really easy for me to pick my least favorite shade in this one. It's hands down the blue eyeshadow over here. And the reason for that is that the quality of this blue is not that great. I do have similar color in the Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. And that eyeshadow is just amazing. It's really foiled, it's really pigmented, jewel toned blue. So let me show you when I try to swatch this. I think I need to build up the swatch a little bit, but if I swatch it for the first time, this is what I get. Okay, maybe I'm going to, for the sake of this video, swatch the Juvia's Place Blue next to it because I was talking about it so that you can actually see how different they are. So this is the Juvia's Place the Nubian 2 palette and we are coming back to this palette later in the video. But to say to Cleopatra over here, let me just swatch that one next to the... I'm going to swatch it back here. So there you can see the Juvia's Place eyeshadow. 
and the BH Cosmetics one next to that. And then the last palette from BH Cosmetics that I have is the BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. So this is a 28 color completely matte eyeshadow palette and I do really like this palette. I talked about this one in my last video but I do like how it's a combination of neutrals and colorful eyeshadows and I do like the quality. Is it like the best matte formula ever? No, but I think it's really good. And I got this palette when I was getting into colorful eyeshadow. It's really easy for me to pick my least favorite eyeshadow in this palette and it is the grey one over here. Overall I will say I'm not the biggest fan of grey eyeshadow and I'm quite picky about my greys. This grey particularly has a plum undertone to it and I do not like that kind of greys at all. I want my grey to be pure grey without any plum in it because I feel the plum undertone in a grey makes it look like a bruise on my skin so I don't like that. But also I will say that I think the grey in this palette is so random. I do not know why it is there because I don't think the grey goes together with any of the other shades. I mean maybe with the black yes and I do get why there is a black in this palette. I think a black is a great addition to any completely matte eyeshadow palettes but the grey is just so random in my opinion. I think it would make much more sense if there was like one more colorful eyeshadow, like if there was like a matte yellow instead of the grey. And here is the grey swatch. I don't know if you can really tell by just looking at the swatch that there is like a plum undertone to it and I don't know how the camera picks it up but I can clearly see it when I swatch it that it pulls like weirdly plum. The next palette is the Seattle London Olivia Palermo eyeshadow palette and I do love this palette. I do like it so much. This is my perfect rose gold eyeshadow palette as I said in my last video. So this is what the palette looks like. I will say that I do like all of the shades in this palette and I do think all of these shades belong here. I mean this green over here is maybe like a little bit random but I think it's like a grey pop of color. I do really much like that green. I just think all of the shades belong here. However, I'm just going to pick my least favorite shade by my kind of like feeling what I like the least. It must be this kind of like dusty pink shade over here. It's really similar color to Buon Fresco in Modern Renaissance. You know, overall, as I said, I do not enjoy this kind of eyeshadows that much. I just think they, they look a little bit ashy on me. So there is the swatch of it and as you can see it's quite close to Buon Fresco. And I think now that I swatched this shade that is kind of like dusty light plummy shade you can see better how much this grey that I swatched previously pulls plum. That is my least favorite shade from the Ciate palette but either way I do think that the shade belongs there. I wouldn't change it because it's a great palette to do a plummy eyeshadow look if you want to do that and I just think the shade belongs there but you know overall that kind of shades are not my favorite shades. Next is my Baby Panda palette, so the Elf Prism eyeshadow palette in Naked. And as you already know, mine is falling apart, so that's the plastic thing over here. I'm just going to hold this plastic thing. The plastic thing comes off. I don't know if I have that clear least favorite shade in this palette. Like, I think these shadows are nice, they are okay. I don't really hate them, but I really don't love them either. I picked my favorite shade to be this peachy one because it's a beautiful lid shade. But you know the other shades they are fine for me. I think my least favorite shade is maybe like this fifth shade over here. These two shades, the fourth one and the fifth one, they are so similar. I wish there was like a little bit more variety because they look so so similar. And if I need to pick my favorite from those two, it's this fourth shade, because this fifth shade has a little bit red in it, when this fourth shade is more like true bronze. I don't hate it, but I really don't like it either. And yeah, I think the fourth shade and the fifth shade are so repetitive, so I want to say that this fifth shade is my least favorite, but it's not like an ugly shade by any means. 
But there you can see it. Oh my god, I was supposed to go through these palettes in alphabetical order and I forgot my Colourpop I think I love you palette because it was in a different pile so we are going to talk about this one right now. I was supposed to mention this one after the Ciate palette. So in my favorite shade from my palettes video I was really having a hard time picking my favorite because I do love all of these shades. So it's also quite difficult for me to pick my least favorite shade in this palette. Maybe these really yellow golds are not what I go for most of the times. But I do still like it and I think it's a shade that makes this palette more fun. So I'm not going to say that that one is my least favorite. Maybe my least favorite eyeshadow in this palette is this pinky champagne shade in the middle row and I do think this is stunning eyeshadow. It's really light eyeshadow so I would mainly use it as a highlighter but the reason I'm going to say that this one is my least favorite is that I think it's maybe like a little bit too cool toned compared to the rest of the palette. The palette is overall really warm neutrals palette and this one it clearly pulls pink and a little bit cool. So I wish this shade was more like a traditional golden toned champagne instead of being like a pinky champagne. But it is beautiful. As you can see when I swatch it, it swatches amazingly and it's a gorgeous color, but not necessarily something I would use with the rest of this shade. The next palette is the Jeffree Star Androgyny Eyeshadow Palette and from this palette it's really easy for me to pick my least favorite. It's hands down this said Poison over here. I think from my entire collection this is probably like my second least favorite eyeshadow. Like from all of my eyeshadows I do have over 200 in my collection. I just don't like it. I actually do like Swallow over here because it's like a deep matte navy blue and it's like a true blue. However, Poison over here is like a weird mix of blue and green and in my opinion it's like the color of mold and I do not want to wear a color like that on my eyes. I just don't think it's flattering at all. I think the quality is okay. I mean with these blues they are not as easy to work with as like this brown for example, but the shade itself is really pigmented, there's nothing wrong with that. I just think blues overall take a little bit more effort when you want to wear it, like you need to maybe blend a little bit more. But yeah, this is just such a weird color, I do not like it at all, because it has that green undertone to it. It makes it look really dirty. Next are my Julia's Place eyeshadow palettes and the first one of these is the Douche eyeshadow palette. It's really easy for me to pick my least favorite shade in this one. It is my least favorite eyeshadow in my entire collection and it's the shade Tarte over here. This is that really classic white based duochrome with a lilac pink shift to it. I do not like shades like this. I just don't think they are flattering on myself. They are not my style at all. I do think they look awesome on other people, but I just don't enjoy them. And overall, you know, what comes to Juvia's Place Shimmers, I don't think this is the best quality necessarily. This eyeshadow is the one that inspired me to depot my eyeshadows because honestly, I don't ever again want to wear that eyeshadow. Next is the Juvia's Place Key Nubian eyeshadow palette. I actually do really much like this palette and there's not a lot of shades that I don't like in here. I think the color story is really cohesive. However, if I need to pick my least favorite shade, it is this first shade over here. This is like a shimmery peachy eyeshadow. And the reason it's my least favorite shade is that there's another shimmery peachy. This one over here that I mentioned is my favorite shade from this palette. And compared to this eyeshadow, this first one is so lackluster. So I would never wear this first eyeshadow over the fourth one that is just like super amazing and foiled. This one is just like meh. The last palette from Juvia's Place I have is the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette and I love this palette. I 
I think I love all of the shades, so it can be quite hard for me to pick my least favorite shade in this palette because I truly do like all of the shades. This is surprisingly hard. Well, if I need to pick my least favorite shade in this palette, I think it's going to be Nairobi over here. So this is like a shimmery, really, really yellow gold. And when I go for gold, I typically don't like to go for something this yellow. So here it comes. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty shade. I don't say I dislike it. It's just when I wear gold eyeshadow, I usually want something that is just a little bit more neutral and not quite this yellow. But it is a beautiful shade. I'm just going to say that it's my least favorite for the sake of this video, but I do still like it. Okay, so we do have three palettes left. And the next one is the Kat Von D Shade and Lie Eye Contour Palette. In the last video, my favorite shade in my eyeshadow palettes, I cheated a little bit with this palette and didn't pick a favorite. I don't have a clear favorite because a lot of these shades are so great basics. And overall, as I said in my last video, this is a great basics palette. It is like the white t-shirt of your makeup collection. It's not an exciting, but it is a basic piece. So I don't have a clear favorite, but maybe if I need to pick a least favorite, I can do it. I think it's going to be this really, really light beach over here. And the reason to that is that this is maybe quite close to my skin tone. It's supposed to be a highlight shade, but it's too dark for myself to highlight with it. But then it is too light to use it as transition shade. So the only thing I could really do with a shade like this is to set my eye primer with it. However, I most of the times like to set my eyeshadow primer just with my powder, the same powder that I use to set my under eye with. So that is why this eyeshadow is my least favorite, but I still think it's a great quality eyeshadow. It's just, I don't even know if you can see it when I swatch it because it's so close to my skin tone. I don't know if I would still change it because what would I choose instead of that shade, like nothing. I think, you know, for a little bit deeper skin tone, it's going to be a beautiful highlight shade. Just for me personally, it's a little bit useless. Next is one of my favorite palettes ever. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Power Eyeshadow Palette. And from this palette, it's really easy for me to pick my least favorite shade. I think you can guess it that it is the Candy at Violet shade over here. First of all, I will say I think Candy at Violet is like a little bit random shade here. Like I think they tried to do like a pop of color thing and then they put their like poor quality purple shade. It's just one of those Too Faced eyeshadows that it's like not that pigmented. It's really hard and does not perform well. I almost watched it accidentally on top of the Kat Von D shade just because I almost didn't see it first. But here comes the Too Faced shade. I mean, it's really sheer and it's really just like dry and glittery. Another thing is that if I go for a purple look, I want my purple to look purple. This is just like one of those darker and a little bit murky colors. Maybe I will try to build up the swatch a little bit. Yeah, when I build it up, I think it's better but it's still my least favorite eyeshadow in this palette. Possibly I could pan this palette one year, but one of the shades I would not bother with would for sure be Candy at Violet. I just don't really like it. And then the last palette is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. I think my least favorite shade in this palette is one of these kind of like darker silver eyeshadows. Overall, I do think this is a great smoky palette, but I do think this is lacking like a super icy silver. I think this palette almost needs that so that it would be just a little bit more versatile and a little bit more wearable. And I wish they took one of these silvers out and replaced it with that icy silver because these are so similar to each other, especially this slanted one and this dagger one because they are like silvery gray eyeshadows with blue base to them. At least armor over here is more like a true kind of like gunmetal shade. 
but these have like blue grays. Maybe I will say that Dacker is my least favorite shade in this palette. It's just, it's so dark that it's going to look like really smoky on my lid and I really don't like the blue base that this eyeshadow has. It's not really my style. Like overall I do like cool dot eyeshadows, I do like silver eyeshadows, I do like gunmetal, but this, now that I swatch it against the purple, I can clearly see how it does have that blue undertone to it. And then if I want to go for like blue, I'm going to again go for this Juvia's Place eyeshadow. <laughs> so yeah, that's why Dacker is my least favorite shade in this palette. So yeah, these are my least favorite eyeshadows in my palettes. Overall, the color story that I have selected is it's quite cool toned. And there's a lot of those kind of like plummy shades and other cooler toned shades. As I said, I do like cool tones, but I'm really picky with those. The selection of the shades that I picked some of them are my least favorites because they are not performing well and some just because I don't like the color. So it's a combination of those two things. And now my hand is starting to hurt when I keep it up. So yeah, <laughs> that was everything for today. It was super fun to film both of these videos, my favorite shade in my palettes and my least favorite shade in my palettes. Now that these videos are filmed, I am finally soon going to start depotting my eyeshadow palettes and there will be some content surrounding that. That was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.